World of Dentistry Dental Solutions for Your Dental Needs Dentigerous Cysts Welcome to this video about dentigerous cysts. Surely many of you have never heard of these cysts, but don't worry, we will give you all the information you need to know about these benign but rare cysts. Before beginning, I want to clarify that dentigerous cysts are cysts of dental origin, that is, they are always related to a tooth that could not complete its eruption or development process. Although the crown of the tooth is involved in the formation of the cysts, the root is not. You may be wondering when these cysts occur. Most dentigerous cysts occur in adulthood, between the second and third decade of life, and are found mainly in the mandible. Despite being benign, these cysts can cause serious damage if their growth is extensive, such as damage to the root of neighboring teeth and to the bone surrounding the tooth. How do we know if we have a dentigerous cyst? The answer is simple. Dentigerous cysts are generally painless and asymptomatic, but their growth can affect other dental structures, causing tooth sensitivity, swelling, displacement of the teeth, protrusion at the site of eruption, and dental crowding. However, small cysts exhibit no symptoms and can be diagnosed with x-rays during routine visits. So how do we detect these cysts? Dentigerous cysts are slow-growing and often found in the back of the mouth, related to the development and eruption of third molars or wisdom teeth. The patient may not be aware of its presence if the cyst is small. Last but not least, what causes dentigerous cysts? The answer is that dentigerous cysts occur from the accumulation of fluid on top of teeth in the process of erupting, yet have not yet erupted. The appearance of the cysts has no apparent origin, but they are related to some syndromes. In conclusion, dentigerous cysts are benign but rare cysts of dental origin that develop mainly in adulthood in the mandible. Despite being benign, these cysts can cause serious damage if they grow extensively. It is important to go to the dentist for evaluation and treatment if any symptoms occur or a dentigerous cyst is suspected. Remember, your oral health is important, so don't hesitate to take care of it and keep your regular dental appointments. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information.